Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. As you left my show in yeah, Dallas, yeah, yeah. you've been... Uh, You've been on a lot of different yeah. uh, platforms. Uh, Trio Talk, No Peel Talk. Yeah, yeah. You, Shout out to yeah, man. Texas. Yeah, yeah. And I noticed when I be, when, yeah, they be alluding to a lot of stuff that be happening with me, but they don't say no name. I say names because I don't care. I want to see everybody get their shine. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, But I definitely, uh, I seen that episode, man, and uh, I definitely like the way that you handled yourself in the questioning. I seen you with the mob, James. You got a lot that been going on lately. So what is up with, I mean, because I seen that Vlad episode with mob, James, Lately, yeah, he a lying motherfucker. No, nah, he said that basically you uh set the phone up and you know, yeah, he like lied, you set man. this whole deal up. Yeah, What's yeah, what? Well, just explain to us man, a little bit man. on what, what happened with that. Uh, let me just say this he had called me two times prior to that about me saying, fuck the Crips and the Bloods. These are guys who want me to be sympathetic to gang banging, they want me to be empathetic to the fact that their brothers died gang banging. They homeboys died gangbanging. But they never want me to be empathetic to the fact of who they killed. Mm. Who house they shot up. They never bring up the victims that have been left behind in the wake of gangbanging. Right? They mm. want me just to respect, man, what well, we, man, nah, homie, it's wrong. It's, it, there's a scripture that says, when I was a child, I did childish things. When I became a man, I put away my childish ways and I thought like a man. And I was always told that men don't embrace gangs. Men stand on their own. And when you know you done done wrong, man, I was wrong for that. You can't never get them to say they was wrong. They give you a but. They give you an excuse. So Mob James was invited by me through Unk. I don't know these guys in California. When I look at California, I don't see no successful men that I want to connect to and be with, other than Uncle Henny. Prior to that, man, those are has-beens, used-to-bees. Some is never was. They never was shit but a gangbanger. So I connect with Uncle Henny. He messed with Gangster Chronicles and all those guys from the West Coast. All my people from the entertainment industry said, Charleston, you not gonna go nowhere with those guys from the West Coast. I said, I'm going with Gangster Chronicles. I was warned. Don't, man, them guys are failures. Them guys ain't going nowhere in the industry. They ain't going nowhere. But you the hot, they need you, Charleston. You don't need those guys. I said, no, nah, I'm gonna go with Gangster Chronicles. I like Uncle Henny and him. So I walked away from the wild and that side of the crew. Come on, with Nick Cannon then? With them people in Atlanta. Okay. To come over here to be with these losers. But man, I'm gonna rock with these people cause I'm gonna put my nigga Dewberry in them on, I'm gonna put Percy on, and we gonna blow this thing up from the south. Hmm. I'm gonna give them niggas a platform cause they can be heard down here in the south through their testimonies. And they can make a little money coming down here through the South, cause we got a platform for them. They don't have no platform for us on the West Coast. Ain't nobody listening to them up there. They're not working in schools. They're not working in the juvenile detention centers. They don't have a platform for us. We got a platform for them. That's why Mob James was down here trying to talk to kids through me. Yeah, I heard you say that. So you saw with the summer program, when we mm -hmm. done the spring break, everybody was there through me. You can't talk to no kid unless you coming through me. So let's get, get that understood. So Uncle Henny say, Mob James come down here. But I didn't know Uncle Henny was gonna pay him. I ain't mm. pay him a dime. He didn't come down here voluntarily on his own dime. He was paid. They just didn't want nobody to know that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.